ready? Yeah. Three. So I got into flying when I was about 10 years old. My grandfather said, hey, David, do you want to come out and wash the plane? So we took some sponges and some buckets, went out to the airport, and we washed the plane. Then I asked my grandfather, where are the towels? We got to dry the plane. He says, that's not how we dry the plane. Get in. And that was my first flying experience. I've been hooked ever since. New tools are really needed to understand the flow of life in the atmosphere. And so my interests have been to develop those tools uh, to allow us to actually study life in the atmosphere tens to hundreds of meters above the ground. So in aerobiology, there are three central processes. We have release, we have horizontal transport, and then we have deposition. And so a microorganism will proceed in order through these phases or processes where it will be released from the ground, it will be transported horizontally, and then eventually deposited. But we're particularly interested in the process of horizontal transport. And this process actually happens tens to hundreds of meters above the ground. And so ground-based sampling technologies are really not suitable to study this process of horizontal transport. Enter our unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, that are actually used to study this process of horizontal transport. What some of our research has shown is that these microorganisms are actually riding on these atmospheric waves. These waves akin to surfers in the ocean riding on waves into the shore. Well, these microorganisms are their own little surfers. The research drones are able to test hypotheses concerning these surfers on these atmospheric waves. So unmanned systems in general have tremendous opportunity to do all sorts of wonderful things for civilian applications. Search and rescue, surveillance, biosecurity, pest monitoring. Our, of course, interest is dedicated really to the study of microbial life and its link to crop biosecurity.